just about to interview the cakes and bake store. So, Hi. could you tell me what your name is? Uh, my name's Katie, um, and I'm from Bradford, and I bake cakes. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, can you tell us a bit about your business and how long it's been going and how you got into it? Um, so, uh, it's been going since uh, April this year. I, I decided to go full-time with my business and be self-employed. Um, and uh, I bake cakes, I make chocolates, I make biscuits, I make all manner of nice, yummy, sweet treats and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just kind of every, every day I kind of might do something a bit different. It just depends kind of what takes my fancy in the morning, really, <laughs> when I'm making stuff. Brilliant. Um, well, it hasn't been long, but I'm just wondering what you think the high points are of working for yourself. Um, it's, it's really hard work, but it's really rewarding at the same time. Um, knowing that, like, you know, after a really busy day when I've sold out of all of my cake, it's like, it's, you get a really nice feeling about it and, like, you've done that for yourself and, you know, it's just great when you get home and you're absolutely wiped out, but you, you kind of feel a sense of achievement as well. Brilliant. And um, we must ask, if we are asking for the highs, what do you think the low parts of being a market <laughs> trader are? Uh, probably the days where um, it's like snowing outside and it's freezing cold and you stood here for like eight hours not really doing much uh, other than kind of shivering. Uh, that's pretty, pretty awful. <laughs> but then for every day like that, there's like loads of really good days. So. So do you sell anywhere other than on your market store? Um, I sell online. I sell um, my biscuits and my chocolates online as like party favours uh, and I also take a lot of like custom orders for birthday cakes and things like that as well on there. So, but mainly this is the only kind of real world place that I am. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, what marketing methods do you use to promote yourself? Um, I use uh, a lot of social media, so I use Twitter quite a lot. I've got into that a lot more recently because I find it's a lot more kind of useful for this kind of area. Uh, I use Facebook, I use Instagram mainly to take pictures of the stuff because it's it's really good for visual stuff, obviously, oh, yeah. being I mean, Instagram. At, I mean, look at that for <laughs> visual. Uh, okay. um, I, I like to keep all of my packaging the same as well, so I, I use my branding as quite a lot. So, for example, on all of my bags, I stick my stickers and stuff like that, um, and I have my sign and stuff. So, yeah. Brilliant. And then, finally, what is the biggest tip you could give to someone who's thinking of starting up as a market trader? Um, preparation, I'd say. Um, plan what you're going to sell. Um, try and find something that nobody else does. And um, that's it, really. And just do it, because it's, it's the best decision I ever made, to be honest. And I'm really happy doing it. Fantastic. Well, it's great to hear that you're on social media. It's obviously the start of Love Your Local Market Fortnight. So if you use the hashtag LYLM2017, we'll give your business lots of promotions during the fortnight. Thank you so much for the interview. Okay, thanks. And good luck. <laughs>